All right, so we're back. And I got a little picture pulled up for me, but I wanna go ahead and get this kind of straightened out a little bit. So I've braided the edges. Again, no more indirect. Yeah, I could bevel and get it smaller and thinner, and yeah, but I like the wide piece, the big old wide percussion scars. I, I like keeping that on there, so that's that's what I'm gonna do. Y'all can do what y'all want to. This is what I'm gonna do. So don't get too mad at me. Okay, here we go. Hopefully y'all can see that, I think so. Come on. That wasn't great, but is what it is. Okay. All right, so we ran some flakes that away. Come over here, do the same thing. And again, this isn't going to be the thinnest piece. It'll be thin, but I'm just trying to get a, a good profile, keep the big percussion scars, and get some nice pressure flakes along the way. as my dog whines again in the background. But uh, this whole make is probably gonna take about an hour and a half. Not too bad. Okay, so we got some flakes on that side. Now we're going to do a slight bevel with our braider, especially on the down portions, below center line. And we'll go from there. There we go.
That's kind of odd. There it went. Just hitting the down portions. Not serrating every edge. Or pressing down on every edge. Just the ones below center line. I'm gonna eventually get that thing out right there. Same with this old rascal here. Okay. Talking about some of those areas. Now once more over here. Sharpen my braider. Not my braider, but sharpen my copper. And I got one more pass here on this side, I believe. All right, now we're getting to nitty gritty here. Now this stage, people do a lot of different things. I'm gonna try to remove these areas here if I can. Yep. I removed two of them. One of them won't go. And here. Here. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back through with this. Tidy it up. Make it even. And we're getting there slowly but surely. I know it's supposed to kind of come up a little bit further, but it's just gonna have to be a weird blade. Sorry, folks. I don't feel like getting my pressure flaker out again, or my uh, indirect stick out again. Dang. The flakes are getting at me. Sharp. But 
But anyways, I hope this video has been helpful. I know I hadn't talked too awful much, especially at the later portions. But there's not many folks out there that, at least that I've seen, that put out how-tos on big blades such as this. Just going back here. Again, kind of driving in, but really just brushing the edge. seen many people work this this large of Flint River either so I thought it'd be cool to make a nice blade Jeff Head the guy I got this from actually mentioned something to me today about making another big big blade and I said yeah sure So here we are. Took you through the entire process. Start to finish, no cuts. Man, that's sharp. Jeez. I'll let you see a side view here in a moment. Okay, decent shape. Just getting that edge sharp here. This one we haven't done. This one we just did. I actually like, excuse me, I actually like it real sharp like that. But now let's do this other edge and then we'll give it some tang uh, features. Yeah, this side just looks way more sharp and pleasing to the eye, at least to me, than just this leftover jagged edge. Another flake. Kind of got a weird spot here. It dives in slightly. I'll fix it on the way back. It's getting hot now in this little sweater. Let's pull over. I'll take it off before I put the notches notches in. I kind of want to taper this up. Get it to meet. Here at the tip. Where's my, there it is. My dog, man, I tell you. Okay. This tip is going to be weird, but it, it, it's going to be what it's going to be, okay? Don't. Judge me too bad for this tip. I'm 
go. We're getting the tip round now. Just took a little minute. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, that came out okay. Forgive me, just trying to get a little, little bit perfect. Not perfect, but a little bit. Come this far, I might as well make it somewhat decent. All right. All right. Okay. I'm going to come right back through. I'm going to take this sweater thing off. it and we'll be done finally okay this is where this little boo-boo was here yeah. it dipped just slightly ever so slightly right there and Okay, yeah, we're we're about there now. The worst is behind us. Yeah, plus my fingers are getting tired. When you support a big piece like this, it's, it can get a little tiring. Okay, now the sides are all done. And I just gotta do the back. And then notches. Right, I'm, not, I'm not doing this today. We're just going. It's not gonna be the thinnest. It'll be a little bit. It's okay to go for a one or two home run shots on a piece, but if you do seven, eight, nine shots where you're just really trying to, oh, this is going to be perfect. Yeah, nine times out of ten, you're going to mess up. At least in my experience. But we will indeed get this finished. Come on. I'll just leave it. Okay, I'm taking this off. I'll take my hat off first. Yeah. It's got too hot. Stay, Pete. Stay, buddy. Okay. So this is what we got here. 
pretty good. And uh, Pete wants to say hello. Where's he at? There he is. Pete! Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. All right, we got 10 minutes to finish this thing. I don't think it'll take 10 minutes. I think it'll take five minutes tops. Let's see, where does this go? It goes like right here, it looks like. Better not mess this up. It's hard to mess up a small little notch like this, but you come so far and kind of jinxing myself here. How far does it go? Let's see. Dang. See, I knew something would happen. Something would happen. It was my own fault. Now what I want to do. Can I come in? Can I do an odd shaped knife? Let's see here. I don't want to waste y'all's time. You see what happened? I'm blue in here. And what can I do here? Was there a single? No, I don't, I don't like that. If I come up to there. Hmm. Unless, I could come in like that and that would be a neat looking piece. Like this. I don't know. What do you think, or should I just leave it like that? Good question. I can leave it like that, right? That's not bad. Is there? I mean, I don't want to cut off that much. Unless I want to round. No, there's no sense in that. Let's see. Hmm. I'll figure it out and I'll get back to y'all. Be right back. All right, guys, I figured it out. Um, I don't know why I didn't see this earlier, but I went ahead and just straightened out this back edge because I didn't want to lose any of my length. And I'm gonna go to, now y'all may think I'm dumb, but I'm gonna go to what I know works, where notching is concerned. So, I'm gonna notch it like this. Cause it's what I know And I trust it. Mm. 
And always go with what you know or trust, what your instincts are. You know, this is... something I've done for a while. I'm not the best notcher, but I do enjoy doing this style of notching here. And got my first notch in there. Can you see it? There you go. Now let's go up here. Um, don't know. Does this need to be more round? I don't know, I'll, I'll go from like right here. Can't be too bad. Now it's coming together. Okay. And you know what? I think I will actually round this. I don't know. Maybe it has more character like this. Let me leave it like that. I think it adds a lot of character. Leave it kind of wicked looking and let it kind of flow. That's what I'm gonna do. We'll be careful right here. Don't want to go too far in or anything like that. Don't do anything crazy, just kind of halfway abrading. Right there, folks, is a blade. Booyah. I don't know how accurate it is to authentic pieces. Since I got this rounded, I'm gonna round this here. But you know what it's gonna be. it's gonna be and I'm happy with it and if you have any tips for me leave it down below and uh, it'll help me get better at making these blades just doing some spot checking here Along the blade. Getting it sharp. Definitely sharp, that much is for sure. And a little bit off the top. Like I'm at a haircut. A little bit off the top here.
and then we're done. So thank you guys for sticking with me for so long. I, I appreciate y'all's patience. Willingness to put up with me for a little bit. And please let me know if you have a comment or suggestion on how to make these blades better. Or tip or something like that. You know, that I could use. That we could all use to get better. Share your secrets. that we may grow together. Anyways, I'll take some measurements later on and I'll post in the description exactly how long it is. I don't think I have my measuring tape with me here. Just want to get that tip kind of sharp. Okay. Yeah, I think that'll do it, guys. I think that'll do it. All right, let me know what y'all think. Um, took a little while. Hour and a half, I think. I want to say. But I'm happy with it. I think it looks good, both sides, and, uh, and that'll do it. So thank y'all for watching, and uh, stay tuned. Hopefully I'll make some more in the future. Appreciate y'all.